Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily create a clipping mask for both an image and a vector graphic, which in my case is an SVG in Figma. So let's begin by grabbing our rectangle tool and you can also grab that with R on your keyboard. And then I'll just draw out a rectangle shape. Now just right click on your shape and send to back. Now select both your shape and your image, right click and use as mask. Now, as you see, our rectangle acts as a clipping mask, which we can move and adjust the size. Now, if we double click in the clipping mask, we can adjust our image. And you can also change how your image is placed within your clipping mask, which acts more as like a frame. And I'll choose crop so you can see a better view of how your clipping mask is cropping your image. You can also use the pen tool or the keyboard shortcut P, and I'll just draw a mask around these buildings. So let's add a fill so we can actually see the shape and then click done at the top. Now let's right click on the shape and send to back. Now again, select both the shape and your image, right click and use as mask. Now for the vector graphic, the exact same steps. This time I'll use the ellipse, which you can also grab with O on your keyboard. And then I'll just draw a circular shape around my vector graphic. So now I'll just right click on my shape and send to back. And then I'll select both my ellipse and the Vector graphic, you want to make sure it's the ellipse and vector graphic. Right click and use as mask. And then it does the exact same thing. And those are some ways you can create a clipping mask in Figma. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, it mean a lot if you left a thumbs up and subscribed if you haven't already. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.